Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Today is a very big milestone in the history of Goostin. It is episode 100 and joining me for this monumentous occasion is nobody. I'm by myself. What? Wait. <laughs> it's actually a special guest. It's the mayor of Sparkles herself. It's Danny. How you doing? Hello. Man, you got some sweet poses. <laughs> she is fresh off the shoot of her live action anime. Bun Bun, the cool girl, school girl. So she's still in outfit. I'm a ninja cat. I don't know why we're... We're, we're trying to blend in with all the animals. Yeah, we're, we're spying on them because I want to see what they're saying about me. Okay, so <laughs> the plan for this episode, we're going to have a nice little island adventure together. But before we do that, and we also have something special planned for the island. It's not just going to be catching bugs and fish. Before we do that, though, I would like to check what's going on in Goostin. And, uh, ooh, there's Ribot. I don't know if you've met some of my little guys there. Did you just dig something up? What was that? Um, I may have stolen a fossil. <laughs> That's all right. I only have a few left that I need, so it's okay. That's Pinky. She might leave, so maybe not talk to her. Oh, jeez. It's too oh, late. Oh, no. Oh, where's a worried thing? Oh, that's like a proud one. I'm trying to think of... There we go. A star fell on my head because I'm like, dope. And then Ribot's over here. I'm sure you'll like Ribot. I'm going to go talk to Copper. Ribot's crossing the bridge. I want to see what's going on in Goostin on this big, big day. But yeah, when we're on the island, we're actually going to talk a bit about the history of Goostin. Little known secrets that have been buried in the past of the town from before my time even. Good evening, citizen. I hope you're not walking around by yourself at this hour. I actually have a, a special guest, so I'm not walking around by myself. <laughs> How can I be of assistance? What's new in town, buddy? It seems we have a visitor from another town. I wonder where our guest is from. Ooh. I guess that's the special event. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to check the plaza, because I think it, when it, whenever someone's over, it's like it overrides any other event that might be going on. Let's see. Uh. Anything going on? Nope. Okay. There's nobody in the plaza. All right. Sometimes it's uh, it's hard to tell. Like, Copper will be vague on some days and be like, oh, it's just a normal day, and then you'll find somebody special. So, let's see. Where'd you go? I lost ya. you. Over here, you're... I'm getting some coffee. <laughs> talking to... What? You're getting coffee? We gotta go to the island. I guess it's it's late here. It's getting a little later. There's where Avery lived. He has fully moved out now. And this rock is not supposed to be here. But yeah, that would probably be a good idea. I'm getting a little sleepy and a little loopy, so that might be good for our plans on the island. But you guys will see in a minute here. I'm going to head towards the boat and just see what everyone's up to. I'm still sad that Genji's gone. He's got some bamboo. Oh, wait, that wasn't where his house was. It was somewhere over here. I've already forgotten Genji's been gone for only a little while. What's up, Cranston? How you doing, buddy? Hmm. Is something there? Or someone there? Oh, it's Chap. Sorry, it was so dark I couldn't see a thing. So what can I do for you? I want to chat, buddy. It's a lot of fun to have a bunch of different people come and visit you in town, but it can be overwhelming and entertaining a whole bunch of guests, too. If you feel stressed, just press start and select end the multiplayer session. Kick them out of town. Kick them to the curb, Mayor. <laughs> it sends all your guests home at once. It's a pretty cool way to say goodbye, New Girls. All right. He's, I like how he's just like, if you're too stressed, then just send your friends away. You don't have to worry. But uh, it's cool that they talk about multiplayer stuff. Oh, <gasps> What? Oh, Jesus! We got what? a new villager. I actually have two spots open. <gasps> Coco! Conan O'Brien's moving in. <laughs> Coco, oh, I think Coco is the, uh, ah, uh, it's the little bunny that looks like the Hanuas, like the gyroids. <gasps> that's so cool. I think that's a villager that a lot of people like. That's awesome. We lost one. I was just talking about Genji. We lost one bunny, but we're getting a new one that's going to be really creepy. We have a lot of weird vit, like we've got the Tangy, the cat with an orange for a head, and then we have uh, <laughs> Coco moving in. That's like a weird clay rabbit. Do you want to meet me at the beach so we can get oh, this okay. uh, island train going? Do you got your coffee? I got it, and then I talked to Ribot. <laughs> okay, Ribot was hanging around. He's, uh, yeah. he's crazy. There Call you go. Call me my boy. Did you drink your coffee yet? Or? Yeah. Oh, man, that was quick. You're going to be so hyper. <laughs> boat ride there, you're going to be already raring to go. But yeah, you're building, I think Oops. you're building the roost in your town right now. Yeah, so you got a little, it. You got a little taste of what it's like. Literally, you had some coffee. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, head down to the boat here. I'm always afraid I'm going to scare away rare beetles on these palm trees at night. And I will, I'll pay the fare since you're my guest. Er, what's that? If you want to enter the island, it'll be a thousand bells per round trip. Okay, we're going to actually skip the first little song here where we ride down. But I will put the second one as we ride back so you guys can see it at the end of the episode if you want to hear Captain sing. And we're going to just scoot. Oh, it pushed you out of the way there. That wasn't very... <laughs> yeah, 
kind. All right. Tell me now. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of music, and uh, you have to talk to him here in a sec. But yeah, we'll we'll see you guys when we're on the island. Okay, here we are. Paradise. Ooh, is that a cabana TV? <laughs> it like hangs. That's weird. Got some nice trunks there. A captain's hat, so we can pretend to be captain. All right, let's go hunt some beetles. You got a coffee shop to fund, so as much, you know, as many bells as you can take back with you will be good. We'll talk to little Lloyd. It's, uh, it, Lloyd has a little flower in his hair on the island. There we go. Aww. All right. Gonna grab, I don't usually grab too much else other than the net and the fishing rod. Sometimes I'll go diving, but I kind of have the island laid out so that I don't have to worry too much about too many bugs getting on this one tree here. Sometimes you can get good bugs on there, but usually it's the palm trees that have the good bugs. There's a butterfly. Okay, I'm gonna start sneaking around and uh, see. The sneaking, we, before we get into Gustin's illustrious history, I wanna show, if you sneak with the net, do that real quick. We might have showed this before, but it, like, it just looks like they're like sliding along the ground instead of the sneaking animation. It's really weird. <laughs> this is, for some reason, it doesn't show the other person doing the sneaking. I don't know, I guess it's probably just a way to keep the game from lagging behind if you have multiplayer going on. Okay, so. Both of us actually went to school and majored in Gustin's history. It was a weird little, like, we had to take a lot of night classes and correspondence courses, but we both got our degree in Gustin's illustrious past. And uh, so instead of just having one of us tell the story of Gustin to celebrate episode 100, we're going to do it sentence by sentence. Since we both know the history so well, we're just going to go back and forth. And I will start. So, long ago... Before any houses existed, before any one even had a single beetle, a new mayor came to town that wasn't a town. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's going to, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna elaborate on that a little bit. They were the first mayor, the elder mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that mayor, known as the elder mayor, was... Little Chubbykins, the fat baby fox. <laughs> we're trying to remember all this. It's been a few years since we took these courses, so we're trying to uh, remember all the details. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Chubbykins, the fat baby fox. Um. <laughs> He said uh, that was like his first words when he came to Gustin, right? He was like, um... <laughs> he didn't know much, because he was a baby. That is true, of most babies. He had lots to learn. <laughs> but he said, you know, this place is a good place. And I'm just gonna pop a squat and, uh, and set up camp here. It's weird that <laughs> the first mayor, the elder mayor, <laughs> was a fox and not a goose. Well, it originally wasn't called Goostin. <laughs> that wasn't my th that wasn't my part of the story. I was just letting you know. It oh. Wasn't, originally wasn't called Goostin. It was called Chubbinsville. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know why the name was changed. Because <laughs> Chubbinsville sounded weird. <laughs> People didn't want to go there. It had ba bad branding. <laughs> So, little mayor Chubbing, Chubbykins, I already, we'll just call him the elder fox, the elder mayor or something like elder that. Elder mayor. Elder mayor. He, uh, he knew there was a branding issue, and he said, okay, what's what's good about this place? There's water, there's fish, there's, it's a land of plenty. There's, there's pears, perfect pears falling off the trees, but what do we not have here? There's a beetle. Oh, get it. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> He, he said there were beetles there, so yeah, you don't have to worry about those. Um, show it off! Yeah! So cool. I should give you a little... Where is it? There we go. I'm just, I look like I rubbed my belly because I'm holding a net. Yep, my belly is all full. Um, so anyways, he, uh, he said, what do we not have here that we want? Geese. I almost said goose. <laughs> Gooses. Maybe... A goose? What? Mm. <laughs> That's what I said. He elaborated, maybe a goose. A goose town. Town. A goose town. Okay, so that's how the town was named. And he was happy with it. 
He never changed it, despite everyone second guessing everything it because work? he was a baby. Did it bring gooses geese to town? <laughs> a single goose never came to roost in Gooston, but many other animals did pop up. There was a wombat, a quokka, <laughs> a bunch of Australian Aww. animals for some reason, marsupials and things. They all left, and they were never seen again <laughs> after a while. <laughs> they didn't die though; they were they were happy. So what happened after that? <laughs> um. <laughs> there were no houses yet. There was just a lot oh. of animals, you know, well, sitting in the dirt. Hmm. <laughs> They're just animals sitting in the dirt. It's <laughs> the image of a bunch of animals rolling around in the dirt. <laughs> um, they decided they needed to start building things because that's what a mayor does. But unfortunately, they all had paws, and <laughs> they couldn't build anything with their little paw pads. And <laughs> how, does, how does Nook build houses, then? Well, that's where Nook comes in. Oh. Nook, with his crafty tanuki fingers, he's got those weird little raccoon paws that can grip and grab and wash things in the river for some reason. <laughs> I think it's so they can smell better, but that's beside the point. The, he actually came around, and he said, hey, I've got some hammers, I've got some... A nail. I've got multiple hammers and one nail, but I can make something of this town, and I can make a town of this town. So he started building, and I've already caught two gold stags, he said. And that's gonna be great, and I'll eat them later, but that's beside the point. I'm gonna start building, and we're all gonna have houses and live like civilized folk. And no one realized that that's how the shadow government would start. <laughs> <laughs> the Tanukis pulling their strings. <laughs> And the, and the elder mayor became but a figurehead. <laughs> <laughs> but and Nook realized this mayor Chubikins, I think his name Chubikins, was Chubikins, the elder mayor. Chubikins, the elder mayor, who was a baby. At this point, he wasn't a baby anymore. He was Nook, a man fox. <laughs> yeah, Nook realized he's, he's like this guy is a loose cannon. He's always drooling on stuff, even though he's not a baby anymore. I need somebody that I can set up to control. That I can be, you know, the power behind the power. So he found someone new to be mayor. He found a person because he respected that they also had fingers. Unfortunately, that person died because that wasn't the next mayor. <laughs> <laughs> the next mayor was actually Tortimer, the turtle. <laughs> no one really knows about that other human mayor. He died mysteriously, or she, we don't know anything about them. They had no one talks about that. Mayor. We don't even know for sure if they had fingers. It's just assumed. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that mare mysteriously disappeared. I think he got he or she got too big for their britches, and Tom Nook was like, "Okay, I'm gonna get a senile old turtle <laughs> to be the mayor." He was senile from the beginning. <laughs> even though he, he was, was, he came pre-aged. He was just a baby too. <laughs> At the start, Tornimer was just, just a little a senile hatchling. baby. Yeah. He was born old and wrinkly, like most turtles. <laughs> but, uh, so, so yeah, Tortimer was the mayor for a while, but eventually he got bored of doing we nothing. Got tired. Very <laughs> tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tortimer said, hey, I'm gonna go open an island resort, and I'm gonna let only humans come there, because I am a racist turtle. <laughs> I'm old and racist. <laughs> against different animals so i'm only gonna let humans come there and uh catch all the beetles and uh is that really a rule i've never seen animals here other than kappas and they're magical yeah but you're not here all the time uh, i guess yeah <laughs> there could be other other people visiting elvis could come out here and... <laughs> anyways we're getting off this <laughs> point i was thinking of it. elvis and and nan both live in sparkles which is yeah. nice Genji, for whatever reason, he went off to some other town no one knows, so that's kind of sad, but it's cool He's that Elvis lives on. Elvis talks about me sometimes, I think. Yes. Hopefully good things. Um, I hear I'm a stump you're, yeah, yeah, I hear you're a stump maker. <laughs> I hear tell. Well, look, this is a look upon my works <laughs> and be, uh, <laughs> and be marveled. But anyways, back to, back to Goose and Sistry. So, at this point, Tortimer has retired. He's built his island empire that we see before us, and he's uh, he's living the good life. He's letting 
Kappas, which are kind of turtles, but not really, uh, run everything for him. But back to Gustin. Yes. <laughs> I have these, like, run-on sentences, and then you're like, yes, it was a good fox. <laughs> In Gustin, they w needed a new mayor because Tortimer left. And there was going to be someone that no one <laughs> speaks about that guy either. <laughs> but he never showed up. <laughs> Something happened to him. Some say he was murdered and his body was hidden behind a house, but that's uh, neither here nor there. <laughs> Talk about a stump mate. You're putting your rump on my stumps um, here. Sitting just, around on them. Just get putting them to use. Yeah, I don't sit on them too often. I had those because <laughs> there's certain uh, bugs. That, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, the violin beetles and the stinkapoos. <laughs> I still need to get one of those. <laughs> I was just messing around because the beetles are hiding. It's tough. Yeah, you kind of have to like do the rotation. Maybe we should stick together and people oh. can see your cute little costume. That way we uh, don't, you know, we let them kind of respawn. Also, if there's butterflies around, they'll stick and they won't, you know, they'll kind of take up spots for other bugs to pop in. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to the history. Um... I forget what was happening. The one mayor didn't show up. Oh, yeah, the, the one mayor that's probably dead. We don't know what happened. They did send a letter, and they were like, oh, it's okay, even though I was supposed to be mayor, and you totally usurped me and jumped in on the train. But a lot of people think that letter was actually forged mm -hmm. in a well, kiln. <laughs> third time's the charm as far as having a person mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out pretty well. The new mayor spends his time dressed as a sickly cat walking around. Sneezing on oh, coral. No. I have the little face mask because it's like a ninja thing. But yeah, the new mayor, he's doing a good job, I think. Sometimes he slacks and he doesn't, you know, pay off the public works projects. But <laughs> And he lets some of his villagers be neglected and move away. But we got new ones. Yeah. <laughs> These are all really bad run-on sentences. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's pretty much the history of, of Gustin. So as we, you know, we've hit 100 episodes, we need to... Look back and, you know, respect our forefathers, Mayor Chubikins, the elder baby fox. <laughs> so we should honor him. How should we? I don't know. We should make a public works project in honor of him. Some say Red is actually his descendant. Hmm. And uh, he does not have the good manners and uh, marrying instincts. You know, he tries to scam people. Chubikins because he doesn't speak. have a young heart. <laughs> yeah, he's not young at heart and pure of soul. <laughs> Like our, like our beloved Chubikin. I feel like Mayor Chubikins was like, he was just, history has kind of lost a lot of info on him, so we idealize him. Hmm. But really, he, you know, he could have Was been. he even a real person? <laughs> was he even a real? Well, <laughs> was he even a real fox? <laughs> he could have been a person. We wouldn't know. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I was so tempted to just do that. No. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. Oh! It's a puff. Oh, a puffer fish. <gasps> don't touch it. <laughs> Fugu. Alright, so I guess we'll wrap up here. We're going to finish up with a little song on the way back. I got some good bugs, despite you know, trying to remember all the history of Goostin in one little run around the island. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more episodes with Danny, let me know. I love having her here. And, uh, going on little bug catching adventures but we, should, we wanted to spice things up a little bit so it's not just us going around in circles on the island hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to see more episodes like this and uh we'll see you next time for some more animal crossing goodbye bye <laughs> i hit you and you were sparked by brilliance <laughs> like yes <laughs> oh no Gob over the side of the boat. <laughs> the 
tune is nice, but next time, Captain, leave us out of your weird bath situation. Yeah, he only <laughs> takes baths when he's not selling stuff, or like I when he's know. not making money.